Hello everyone, the today's video will cover the Boeing 737 NG's Autoflight Rule Modes in action. So I'm gonna simulate uh, different situations to show you how to fly the Rule Modes using the Mode Control Panel. So let's get started. Here I'm on the runway, ready for takeoff. If I go to my FMC route page, you can see here the first route segment, which starts via CYQM5 to Vector. Vector means that I'll be flying my initial departure under the ATC radar vector guidance. Now, if I go to my legs page, you can see here my initial departure heading is 061, which corresponds to my takeoff runway heading which is already set on the heading display during the pre-flight procedure, as you can see here. Since I'll be flying the departure and the radar vector environment, I know that the roll mode I'm gonna select during the initial climb is the heading select mode. Let's jump now to this phase of flight and see how to use the heading mode to fly the departure. Now I'm flying the initial climb just after the takeoff at 400 feet AGL, I select the roll mode. For instance, I select the heading select mode. The green light bar illuminates, indicating that this mode is being selected. Heading select green on the FMA checked. Now, ATC has instructed me to turn left heading 270. First, I have to turn the heading selector in the same direction of the turn which is left to set to 270 in the heading display. Now I'm established on the 270 heading after a few minutes. ATC has instructed me to fly direct BMEC then as filed. This means that I have to fly my FMS flight plan. To do so, I go to my CDU legs page I copy BMEC to the scratch pad, then I put it in the left first line, select to overwrite the magenta vector. I check my leg to BMEC as shown in my ND as a dashed line. That's correct. Now I execute the modification. Then I select LNAV. LNAV green on FMA checked. Now I'm in LNAV rule mode, the autopilot will follow my FMC flight plan all the way to the destination. But sometimes the ATC will just not let you fly the exact flight plan due to many situations that I'm gonna try to cover some of them to see how to use the CDU and heading select mode when flying the LNAV mode in order to comply with ATC instructions. Let's see now another situation. ATC has instructed me to fly right heading 320 to solve a traffic conflict. Using the heading knob, first I make sure to turn the heading knob in the same direction of the turn, for uh, instance uh, to the right, to set 320 on the heading window. Then I select heading select mode, then on the FMA heading select green is checked. Now ATC has instructed me to remain in the current heading to intercept the 060 radial of BMEC inbound, then resume my own navigation. Now to obey this instruction, first I need to find the reciprocal of the radial 060, which is 240, and this is the course I need to intercept in order to proceed to BMEC. Now on my CDO legs page, I click on the BMEC line select key twice and you notice here that the FMC is giving me an intercept course prompt to BMEC, which is by default the direct course, but the course I need to fly to BMEC is 240. So I'm gonna type 240 on the scratch pad, then put it in the intercept course line select. Now I got the 240 course above BMEC confirmation. Now on my navigation display, I check the course modification as shown in dash line. That's correct. 
now I execute the modification then I select LNAV LNAV green in role mode annunciator checked now the autopilot is initiating the turn to resume the navigation let's see now another scenario to solve traffic conflict ATC has instructed me to fly 15 miles right of course now to obey this instruction I have to select root page then I select offset then I type R15 R means right 15 miles is the offset distance now I see my right offset new course in white dash line is created now I execute the modification and the aircraft triangle symbol is showing that the aircraft is steering to the right toward the magenta dash line offset course now the traffic conflict is being solved ATC has instructed me to cancel the offset course and resume the navigation to comply with this uh, clearance I go to root page then I select offset then I type 0 in the scratch pad then I put it in the offset distance line select then execute now the offset is deleted and the aircraft is proceeding back to the original course the final example I want to show you is flying the outbound radials let's suppose that the ATC has instructed me to fly right heading 300 then intercept the radial 330 of must do outbound until advised to obey this clearance first I turn the heading in the direction of turn to the right and set 300 heading then I press heading select switch to engage the heading mode the next step is creating the 330 radial of must do outbound using the CDU legs page to do so I copy must do to the scratch pad then I add 330 slash triple nine then I put this in the very first white point after must do which is sloka here is my 330 radial of must do in white dash line now I execute the modification to make it active now I have completed the instruction as you can see here I'm established on the ATC assigned heading which is 300 intercept heading for 330 radial of must do outbound after passing the beam of must do I can now select LNAV to fly the 330 radial outbound to do so I simply select LNAV LNAV green on the FMA checked now the aircraft is intercepting the ATC assigned radial outbound and this completed today's tutorial if you want to watch the next tutorial on the Boeing 737 NG's autopilot pitch modes make sure to hit the notification bell icon so you won't miss this tutorial thank you for watching see you in the next video